Roy. Yes. Hiya. Um, can I have a coffee, please, to take away? And uh, a couple of them Eccles cakes, please. Eccles? Doesn't that have a train station? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Ryan's coming home tonight. They're his favourite. Oh, is he here for the summer? Yep, he is. Can't wait. I've hardly seen him. Mind you, he has been studying really hard. So. Well, you must be very proud of him. I am indeed. He's the only Connor to go to university. Better than being a train driver. Although, I'm going to take him out for dinner later, you know, and just have a proper catch-up. Oh, by the way, um, Carla's gone away for a bit, so me and Rob are going to be running things for a while. But is it something to do with Peter? Nothing's happened, has it? No, he's fine. But they have decided to take an extended break, so if you could let the others know, I've got a dash off for a meeting. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, thanks. See ya. Oh. Oh. Uh. All right, gorgeous. Right. You were about to whack me with that mop then, weren't you? You're doing a thought Weatherfield was a no-go area. Run out of dosh, I? So it suits me to be the prodigal son for a bit. Yeah, well, I bet you don't last a week. Yeah, probably. How are you anyway? You've not become a cleaner. Nope. I'm just helping my dad out with his new house. Oh, yeah, I had this split up. Sorry. Yeah, me too. Listen, uh, how about a catch-up over a drink? Yeah, I'd love to, but I've not really got much time. But, um, I'll see you later. Yeah. Where are you? I knocked on the front door, but you mustn't have heard me. What are you doing here? Rescuing you from a life of toil and drudgery. Yeah, well, I've already told you I'm busy. Oh, come on. First time back in two years, and no one wants to know. What about your mum? Working. Besides, I'm stuck with her all night. Pretty please. I suppose I can spare half an hour. Hmm. No, thank you. So how's things? Same old, same old. Oh, come on, you must have something to tell me. Well, I still live at home and I still work in the corner shop, so it's not really that fascinating. So do something about it. I mean, there's a life out there waiting to grab you. Yeah, I know. And I have been mugged by it a few times. Sorry. I bet you wish you hadn't even come over now. Oh, don't be daft. I mean, I know it's been rubbish for you. I mean, your parents and that. And Rosie going, couldn't have helped things. To be honest, that was one of the highlights. <laughs> Is she really some supermodel? Yeah, in her head. Huh. I shouldn't diss her, though, because at least she's doing something. You can, too. Yeah, I know. But it's just since me and Shan split, I just don't see the point in doing anything. Did you hear about our wedding? Or should I say the known wedding? Yeah, she said. What, you've seen her? No, no, we just email each other sometimes. All right. I can't believe she's already gone and shacked up with that girl. What girl? The one from Holiday. What, you didn't know? Oh, flaming out. I'm sorry. What, so she's actually living with her? Yeah, she has been for a couple of months now. You know, I think I'll have that drink now after all. Right, OK. I'll leave you to lock up. Can't wait to get back and see Ryan. OK, give him my best. Will do. See ya. See ya. Wait, you've done it again. Wow. Ryan! Ryan! Up there. Want all the gory details? <laughs> no, thanks. You know, I've been thinking. If Sean can move on that easy, so should you. Mm, suppose. I mean, there's loads of fit women out there. And blokes. Well, why limit yourself? You do realise that half the population are missing out. <laughs> it's more like it. Brian, you can't smell that in here. Oh, chill, will you? No, I mean it. Go in the back garden. Come with us, then. Go on.
So there we are, right, lying in bed. We can hear a monk up the stairs. She's like, quick, hard. I'm like, where? And all the time, we're going to get closer and calling out, um, calling out Jan or whatever her name was. Wait, you can't even remember her name? No, it was a couple of months back. Ryan, how many girls do you sleep with? <laughs> Don't know, lost count. All right, so I'll leap out of bed. And I'm standing there like this, absolutely starkers, behind her mum. It was going on about how she's a tiny room. It's a total mess and stuff. And then she goes to leave. And I'm heaving a sigh of relief when she says, dead casual like over her shoulder, tell that lad put some clothes on. <laughs> Never. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> it was hilarious. I mean, actually, her mum was pretty hot and all. Were you? Well, she was. So, are you actually doing any work at uni or what? I'm not ever going to help it. <laughs> you know what? What? You're pretty hot and all. What are you doing? What do you think? Oh, come on, don't knock it till you tried it. Get lost, right you? Sophie! Quick! Oh, get, get the buckets! Get the buckets! <laughs> Only me, just wondering how you're getting on. What the hell's going on? <sighs> well. Not quite the welcome home I intended. What the hell happened? Well, they won't say. Cos we don't know. We literally just went outside for, like, five minutes. What were you doing here, anyway? That's what I want to know. Just keeping Sophie company. You ain't got a few cans in by the looks of it. Or was it your idea to party? No. Uh, Sophie doesn't drink. Well, she doesn't exactly look sober, Kevin. I hope you're not trying to blame all this on her. Well, you're being quick enough to blame Ryan. I don't care who's to blame. I want to know who's going to pay for it. He is. It's not my fault. I mean, the hoover was plugged in. Maybe there's something up with the wiring. There's nothing wrong with the wiring. And how do you know? Oh, you know what? Look, this is your house. You can sort it out now. Uh, no, it's not. Not so we've exchanged. Well, I'm not paying for it. Right, well, I'm pulling out. What? You heard. Stuff your house. Come on, Soph. Going home. I'm sorry. Oh, brilliant. Are you sure you don't know anything? Oh, yeah. Blame me like everybody else. I'm going home. Oh. <sighs> Look, Steve, I'm sorry. I'll try and get to the bottom of it. Well, it don't matter now, does it? Because the damage is done. I'm back to square one. Stuck with a house I can't sell and I can't flip in a Ford. Brilliant. Ryan? Wakey, wakey. Ryan, come on, mate. Rise and shine. 7.30, it's middle of the night. Ah, oh, glad to see you got yourself out your pit. Don't get too excited, I'm going straight back. Right. Made your bacon butter. Anything to say for yourself? Yeah. Got any brown sauce? Do you know what? Can't believe you. One day you've been back. One day. You're already causing a shed load of trouble. I told you the fire at Steve's had nothing to do with me. Hmm. I bet it was that Sophie that did it. She's a right hell raiser, that one. <sighs> like I said already, must have been dodgy wiring. Yeah, right. Anyway, I'm surprised you can remember anything the amount you'd had to drink. A few cans. Big deal. Got any plans for today? <clears throat> nope. Good. Get that down your neck. Shower, shave, straight over to the factory. What? Well, I need you where I can keep my eye on you, obviously. I'll stick you in the packing department. You're joking. Every boy's dream, Ryan. Needy pinnickers. Some holidays. What are all my mates doing? Travelling, hanging out at festivals, having a blast. What am I doing? Packing knickers. Oh. See you later. <laughs> oh, I like that one! Right, listen up, everybody. For those of you that don't know, this is my son, Ryan. Yeah, only back two minutes and you've already got Sophie Webster in trouble, or so I've heard. He never has. I thought she was a lesser. Oh, not that sort of trouble, you deaf bat. Actually, Fizz, we don't know for sure who started that fire, so I could do without you lot gossiping, if you don't mind. Last time I saw you, you were wandering around in your Spider-Man underpants with a lampshade on your head. <laughs> a shame. <laughs> to be fair, he was only four at the time, Rob. Ryan is going to be helping out in the packing department, so, Kirk... I'd like to show him the ropes, please. What? He's going to be my apprentice? Uh, sort of, yeah. Right, kid. Come with Uncle Kirky. I'm going to teach you everything I know. Hm. That'll take all ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it hot in here or is it just you? <laughs> Jog on, darling. 
I eat little boys like you for breakfast. What a fantastic way to go. Are you? It's true what they say, then. It's not what you know. Ryan needed a summer job. Simple as that. You could have run it past me first. Oh, like you did with Eva, you mean? Um, 94p, please. <clears throat> Sophie, I want you to be honest with me. Look, I'm not being rude, but, you know, what's done is done. Yeah, I know, but I need to know what happened. Did Ryan start that fire? Look, I know it's not the dumb thing to snitch on your mate, but I really need to know. Was it Ryan's fault? Well, I don't know. For sure. But? He was smoking, so... Oh, no, he doesn't smoke, does he? I thought he had more sense than that. Yeah, apparently not. Sorry. So was he smoking in the house? I sent him outside, but he'd already lit it. The fire must have started by one of the matches. There's no other way. Hi, gorgeous. Fancy treat me to a bag of chips? In your dreams. All right. Had your dinner yet? Skin. Go on, then. I'll uh, shout you to full English if you like. Brilliant, yeah. <clears throat> Good job. Me and Ryan want a word. Oh, take it you come to apologise. No way, why should I? Well, in that case, sling your hook. Yes, he has, actually. He has come to say sorry, because Ryan was smoking in the house, and so the chances are he did start the fire. You said you were bringing me here for full English. You're a cheeky beggar. I'm trying to blame Sophie. Look. You want to sell the house? You want to buy it? We can sort this out. The idea of buying it, it was easy. No far I just moved all my stuff in and that was that. I've got a full-time job and a baby to look after. Right, well, you can still move in because Ryan is going to sort it out. Yes, you are. I'm going to buy the materials and the paint and what have you, and Ryan is going to do the work. Well, I think it's an excellent idea. Well, I'm sorry, but I've told you, the sale's off. Well, like you said, you're very busy. When are you going to have fine time to go house hunting? Yeah. I mean, come on. It's across the road from your work, it's over the road from your daughter. You're not going to find anywhere more convenient than that, are you? Unless you bed down in your office. <laughs> come on, Kev. Don't cut your nose off to spite your face. OK. I want to work doing properly and quickly. Nice work, Michelle. Thank you. I owe you one. Oh, don't be daft. You know, you could be, uh, quite scary, really, in a kind of sexy kind of way. Sorry. Do you remember what I told you? Once they've been signed off for quality, you collect them and pack them and make sure your batch numbers match. I am sick of taking orders off you. Sorry, mate, but that's the way it is. I'm the king of the jungle, packing-wise. Hey, Kirk, Kirk, um, why don't you send him out to get a glass hammer? <laughs> <laughs> or uh, a tub of elbow cookies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice try, girls. I know my job inside out. And pretty soon we don't need either of those things, thank you. So you get the end of everything then? Yeah. We've still got a bit to learn, but I'm sure we'll get there in the end. I just wanted to say thanks um, you know, for paying for the damage. Well, I'm not. You, you said you'd buy all the stuff? Yeah, I'll be paying it up front, but I'll be taking what you owe me out your wages. So basically, I'll be working for nothing? Pretty much, yeah. Till you've paid off your debt. Well, you can't do that. It's slave labour. Ryan, if you don't like it, you know where the door is. Sorry, not tonight. I'm nipping to the cabin to pay the papers at Ben at home. Blimey, you know how to live, don't you?
sorry, Mum. I tripped over some of the packing stuff. Oh, don't you apologise. It's not your fault. Kirk, I told you to clean this place up. It was clean. I sorted it. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Can you get up, babe? I don't know. Uh, no. Do you want me to get him a cup of tea or brandy or something? It's supposed to be good for sharp. So what happened to the shelf? I must have caught it when I tripped. I thought it'd break before, but it just came down. Right, I'll, I'll give you an hand. Get his other arm. <sighs> but do you know what? Actually, I'm not sure we should move him, cos backs are well dodgy. Well, we can't just leave him there. I'll tell you what, go and get Hayley. She's our first aider. Uh, she's not here. She's got a family emergency. Oh. I'm running there, mate. Eva, give us a massage, will you? That'll make me feel better. Oh, you hurt yourself and you're joking about it. Just trying to put a brave face. Right. Oh, try and lift him, Kurt, oh. carefully. Right, come on. Steady. Oh. Steady. Oh. Oh. Come on, mate. Oh. Oh. Maybe you should take some painkillers. I've got some junior dispin in my locker. No, well, he just tripped and some boxes fell on top of him. No, no, he's not bleeding. All right, I'll just ask him. Ryan, do you feel dizzy? No, don't think so. No. Nauseous? Yeah, I, d I do as it goes. Yeah, he does. OK, all right, thanks for your help. Bye. OK, the nurse says she thinks we should take him to A&E. Probably get him an X-ray just around the safe side. I can take you if you like. Can you walk to the car? I'll try. Let me and your mum take your weight. Kirk, can you lock up for us, please? Will do. You and me are going to have words about this, Kirk. If this is as bad as it looks. It wasn't my fault, honest. Oh, just save it, Kirk. You're in enough trouble as it is. You can quit the drama. Your x-ray came back clear. Hey, just because there's no broken bones doesn't mean he's not still suffering. He's had a twist in my ankle. Can you get me a beer, Mum, to deaden the pain? Get it yourself. The doctor told you to keep active. I don't know how I'm going to cope with you in this state. Sorry to be such an inconvenience. The whole point of crutches is that you can get around on them. You can still come into work. Hello, I'm in pain here. You can be my girl Friday, answer the phone, stuff like that. In your dreams, tell him, Mum. You're not using this as an excuse for a big skive. It would be good if you could still earn your keep. I mean, you will owe me a fair bit of money. I'm injured. Cut me some slack. Don't be such a baby. I've had much worse on the football pitch. I hope Underworld's insured. That's all I'm going to say. You are joking. Haven't you heard of health and safety? Accidents like this are taken very seriously. Sorry, but I'm going to have to sue you. You wouldn't do that to me. No way. Don't be daft. It's nothing personal. Stop this right now. You won't get anything out of us. We'll see. You better get yourself ready for a fight. I'm taking Underworld for every penny. What's that you're looking at? I'm trying to find a decent solicitor. <sighs> Ryan, love, I really wish you wouldn't do this. I've got a right to compensation. You had an accident. Due to rubbish workmanship and Kirk's negligence. Look, I know you're in pain. I try total agony. You're talking about suing your Auntie Carla. This, this isn't personal, it's business. Yeah, and she's left me in charge of that business. I think Rob might have something to say about that. Rob couldn't tie his own shoelaces without me. While Carla's away, I run Underworld. And your point is? My point is you're making me look bad. Uh, you're not the one who might be crippled for the rest of his life. Oh, come on, Ryan. I think that's a slight exaggeration, don't you? So now, suddenly, you're a doctor on top of being boss of the world. I am asking you to cut me some slack. I'm telling you, the insurance will cover it. You're taking advantage. What, cos I know my rights? Mum, this isn't about me and you. This is about standing up to the system. Mm, not to mention the big fat check. That's so out of order. Yeah? Well, then spare me the working-class hero rubbish, Ryan. You're after a payout. It's as simple as that. I can't believe you're saying that. I'm supposed to be your son. Exactly. Which is why I expect more of you. Yeah, well, looks like I'm going to disappoint you again. This isn't going away, not a chance. If you don't want to support me, Mum, that's your problem. How are you feeling? I'll live. Don't worry. Everything still works. Ryan. I can't believe you dragged me down there. Just talk to him for my sake, please. I like I have any choice. Poor thing. Poor thing? My foot. Lads have to compo. Surprise he's not asked to borrow his wheels. He's laying it on a bit thick. Yeah. Have a seat. Right. I'll leave you to it. Listen to what he's got to say, yeah? Back still giving you jip? No, I'm just channeling Quasimodo. Thought we might have a chat man to man. 
<laughs> in other words, you want to make a deal? Sorry. Ten grand, and this all goes away. <laughs> Ten thousand pounds? You have another that? Seven. And that is my final offer? Nah, I'll pass. And there's no more to talk about? <laughs> I know you're faking it. Prove it. I'll see you in court. That was quick. Folks, a joke. What? Just leave me alone. What happened? That boy's a wrong one. Ali, I'll play kaplunk if it wipes that smug smile off his face. Can you believe she want me work unpaid? I know. Talk about exploitation. Oh, hang on, someone's downstairs. Yeah. Hello? OK, I'm buzzing you in. Got to go speak later, mate, yeah. Hello? Doors open. Hiya. What do you want? Oh, charming, that is. Look, if your boyfriend sent you here to spy on me, tell him there's laws against harassment. Actually, I've come to bring you some lunch, but if you're going to be like that... Whoa, hold on. I'm sorry. <sighs> Rob kind of freaked me out earlier and I'm just still a bit on edge. It's really kind of you. I know. Brought you pine chips. Wicked. Shall I uh, put it on a plate? If you insist. The food. Cheeky. And FYI, Rob is not my boyfriend. Really? Just the, the way you are with him? What, you mean the way I flirt? If you like. Well, it pays to keep the boss sweet, doesn't it? He gets a smile, but that's all he gets. Hey, it's none of my business anyway. Why are you so interested? I'll play mum, shall I? I'd rather you didn't. She's a pain in the neck. Oh, to go with the pain in your back? Yeah. Well, that is a shame, because I was thinking about letting you take me out later. Come again? There you go. Enjoy. Ryan! Hiya! Hey! Oh, look at you. Our oh, Kurt told me about the accident. He feels really bad. These things happen. I'm surprised to see you out and about. Shouldn't you be taking it easy? I need to get some painkillers. All right, what kind? Um, the, um. Oh. Only I've got some ibuprofen at home. If you wait here, I'll go and get them for you. Thanks, but uh, doctor said I should try and get some exercise. All right, well, that makes sense, I suppose. Trust me, I'll be tucked up in bed before you know it. Good. See you later. <clears throat> Sorry I'm a bit late. The walk took longer than before. Oh. You walked all the way here? Yeah, I'm not going to let this thing beat me. <laughs> My little hero. <laughs> well, this should help take the pain away. So. So you look nice. Scratch that, you look staggering. That line gets all the girls, does it? Girls know, but beautiful women. They usually know the truth when they hear it. You really do rate yourself, don't you? Well, you're here, aren't you? I am, yeah. Question is, what are you going to do with me? <laughs> I don't know. Um, have a couple of drinks. Take you from there. And uh, what about your poor back? Funnily enough, it's... Feeling better already. So, as a rule, I don't normally date younger guys. Aren't rules meant to be broken? Mm. Well, it's usually my heart that gets broken, so. I should probably warn you that I have massive trust issues. I'd never lie to you. Mm, that's what they all say. Then ask me anything. Anything? Mm hmm. Okay. Did you really hurt your back? No. <laughs> so you're faking it then? A teensy bit. What about your mum and Carla? What about him? I'm suing the business. Well, I won't let Rob find out. I'm not scared of Rob. Anyway, what he doesn't know can't hurt him. Yeah, I suppose. So did I pass the truth test? Well, that depends. Depends. 
Depends on how big my share of the compensation's gonna be. <laughs> You're bad. Very. I'm also thirsty. Uh, darling, lose the crutches. Not really a turn on. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have uh, one large white wine, please, mate? Back of the net. Right, I'm at that meeting. I'm afraid you're going to have to cancel. What? I need you to come with me. Where? Well, that's not important. That, you're going to have to do better than that. OK, it's about Ryan. Oh, what about him? You'll see. So, Tariq. Blue ball off two cushions. Good. Cheers. There's nothing else to do at university. I'm uh, not a bookworm, man. Nah, give me extracurricular activities any day. Uh, uh, uh. Finish the game first. Just one kiss. Yeah, I could still win this. In your dreams. Black ball, middle pocket. <laughs> Boom! Now that is what I'm talking about. Oh. Get in. Total fluke. Total fluke. You couldn't do it again. Oh, can you just tell me what we're doing here? Trust me, you've got to see this for yourself. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm back again. Is that yeah. your crippled yeah. son dancing? <laughs> I'm back again. 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 Woo! <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's a miracle. You look like your mum's here, otherwise, you'd really have something to complain about. And you let him threaten me like that? How could you? I needed some money. Oh, right, so you thought you'd con your own family? Why make it so personal? Carl has got insurance. It's illegal. So everyone does it? You are not everyone. You are my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've let myself down. Play the B-side already. You're ringing that solicitor first thing, and you are withdrawing that claim. Whatever. I'm out of here. Thanks for the drink, and in my book, you're still hot. Oi! I haven't finished with you. Let him go. I mean, that kid has got some serious front. I hate to say it. But he sort of reminds me of myself. Oh, terrific. Like I'm not worried enough. <laughs> it's an estate village. It was built in the 1830s by the Earl of Canterville. The law, the law for Castle. It's probably happy I'm waiting. For what? An apology. Why should I apologise? I saw an opportunity and I took it. If you hadn't forced me into slavery, none of this would have happened. You're saying this is my fault? You're the one playing the blame game, not me. Do you know what? I'm lost for words. Your attitude stinks to high heaven. Since you came back, all you've done is cause trouble and treat people like dirt. You've cost me money, me job for all I know. Looks like you located those lost words all right. I'm not prepared to accept this behaviour, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, I'm an embarrassment. I get it already. No. An immature brat is what you are. I really don't need this at the moment. Well, do you know what? If you don't like it, you know what you can do. And that is... Oh, forget it. <sighs> Bet you wish you never came home. Come on. You do, don't you? Fair enough. Looks like I better start packing. Thanks for nothing. Why don't you just get me a drink? He's paying. Missing me already. He says Michelle's chucked him out. Have you told him why? No? What? Cat got your tongue? Apparently Ryan's been telling fibs. There's nothing wrong with his back, nothing at all. Looks like Beth got it spot on. Are you going to listen to an ex-criminal? It's better than being a scheming little tall rag who can't handle his ale. Oh, I think you should leave. Get your boyfriend to make me. Back off. Make me. Hey, 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 hey! What's going on? I could have taken Rob, he's not all that. Oh, bell up, drink your coffee. What on earth do you think you were playing at, pulling a stunt like that? I needed the cash. Well, that's no excuse. You tried to con your own mother. Yeah, and I blew it. Move on already. No offence, but I'm not exactly seeing any remorse here. No offence, but do I give a monkeys? Sorry. OK. I get you're looking out for me, Steve. But you, you don't know what it's been like since I got back. So tell me. Seriously. I'm interested. OK. 
Jack's like a bird or something. Satisfied? When I get home... I don't know. I thought she'd be made up, like, really stoked. Instead, all I get is hassle 24-7. Well, to be honest, you're not exactly doing yourself any favours. Yeah, well, it's all irrelevant now. She took me out. So fix it. You mean grovel? No, I mean grow up. <laughs> Found this in the pub. All right. Thought you'd have been halfway to Scotland by now. This was rain. <clears throat> He's had a few. Grass me up, why not? Him and Rob kicked off. It was handbags, but I thought I'd better let you know. It's a good job Steve dragged me away, cos the twins... ..the cocks and lots. Anyway, there's a couple of things he wants to say to you, haven't you? Oh, whatever. Right, I better get going. Sorry I had to get involved, Steve. Glad to help. Oh, God, I'm hungry, I think. Good night. Night, Steve. Night, Ryan. Peace. Just a lot more than I'm going to get. Good luck. What am I going to do with you? Feed me. Don't push it, Ryan. I'm not joking. Come on, I've already apologised. No, we haven't, actually. I, I messed up, all right. Won't happen again. Right, good. Because if there is a next time, I'll be putting you on that train myself. Yeah, yeah, well... It's going to be a pretty short journey, considering... Been kicked out of uni. What? Yep, you stuck with me. Where the hell do you think you're going? Bed. <sighs> oh, look, it moves. Oh, leave it out, will you? I'm not well. It's called a hangover. Oh. Medic tablets in that top drawer. So you're going to tell me what happened then? I had too much to drink. No. I meant you're going to tell me why you got thrown out of uni. Come on, you used to be able to tell me anything. It was a stupid mistake. Me and a couple of lads on the course got bladdered and set off some fire extinguishers. So they threw you out for that? One of them sort of ended up going through the student union window. And when did this happen? A couple of months ago. I wish you'd told me sooner. I, I knew it upset you, didn't I? Of course I'm upset. This is your future you're throwing away here. Yeah? I messed up, I'm sorry. What else can I do? Well, first off, you can go and see Steve about redecorating that house. And then you can think about getting yourself a job. Cos I can't keep paying for you, Rye. You're eating me out of house and home as it is. Where am I going to find a job? Well, certainly not sitting on your backside, that's for sure. Just give it a try, will you? Anything's got to be better than moping around the house feeling sorry for yourself. <sighs> All right, I'll get on to it. Thank you. Good to see you. Get away. My mum said I have to talk to you about redecorating number 13. Yeah, I know. I saw her earlier. She's, uh, very worried about you. If you've come round here to have a go with her... Come round here to help you, you plank. Look, your mum's not going to get off your back until you sort your life out and get yourself a job. So, how do you fancy working for me? Doing what? Well, working at streetcars on the switch. Fat Brenda's had to have a gastric bone realigned, so she's off for a while. What would I be doing? Taking calls, telling the drivers where to go. It's easy. Train monkey could do it. Well, I thought of you. No, it doesn't pay very well, but it'll keep your mum happy, so what do you say? You've given him a job. Only a trial period. Why, was the problem? He is. He's a liability. Can I get a drink? The kettle's in the corner. Oh, what a cold one. Can I just nip to the kebab shop? Only been in work half an hour. Please. Oh, go on, then. So, can I lend a quid? Job just like that. Well, if you're stuck in here, it's out of trouble. Learn some people skills, earn some cash. Plus, this way I can, uh, you know. What? Keep an eye on him. Are you my boss or my babysitter? You are still going to do that decorating, though, aren't you? Every last brush stroke. He'll uh, probably be working late tonight, so he'll need a line somewhere. Look at the state of that. Hey, love, what can I get you? A uh, pasty to go. Pasty. Ryan. All right, Platt. All right. 
I heard you were back. What are you doing here? I thought you were at uni. Yeah, uni's not my thing. It didn't work out. Why is that? I spent most of my nights in a band and missed any lectures. Oh, so you're still into your music then? Yeah, big time. Is this, uh... Yeah, Kylie, my wife. Your wife? Mm, yeah, I am. He's done right for himself, hasn't he? David thinks so. Uh, this is Ryan uh, Michelson. Mm. Do you dress like that when you're in your band? No, just been doing a bit of painting at Steve McDonald's house. What are you painting there for? Cars, I dropped a match and nearly burnt the place down. You are? It's a non-story. What kind of music do you play? You'd have to hear it. Um, let's say it's £1.10 altogether. Thanks. Oh, thanks. So you're too later on? Nothing. Yeah, we are. We'll go in the rovers, come if you want. Set the place alike. <laughs> I might just do that. See you later, Platt. See ya. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you were in a band, were you? Yeah, in Glasgow. Uh, played guitar, sang a bit, wrote our own music. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we weren't the killers or anything, but we were good. Any groupies? Yeah, I wasn't into the groupie thing. It was always about the music for me. Whatever. <laughs> All right, maybe one or two, but for me, playing, performing on stage is a real buzz. There's nothing like it. It's difficult to explain. I know. How do you mean? I used to be a dancer in that, in the clubs. Really? Not anymore, though. Shame. <laughs> She drinks here. I'm supposed to be all round. So, mate, so have you decided where we're going next? Nowhere. Me and Carly were off to the cinema alone. Don't be so rude, David. Ryan can come with us if he likes. No, he can't. I've got a better idea. Let's go into town. I'm up for that. No, we're not. We can go to the pictures any time. Don't be so boring. I, I want to see that film. Then you go and see it. I'm fine, calm down. We'll go clubbing. Good. Ah, oh, for... Ryan, have you just crashed there all night? Ryan! <sighs> Come on, mate. It's gone eight o'clock and you're due at streetcars. Can't believe you're too idle to walk ten foot to your bedroom. I'm getting the shower. All right, I'm going. Steve's been really good giving you this job and I don't want you letting him down. It's answering calls at a taxi firm. I'll give it my best shot. Excuse me. Hello? What are you doing? Ryan! Ryan, what the hell do you think you're playing at? Yeah, my sentiments exactly. I've just had a driver on the phone saying there's nobody on the switch. Oh, I'm dead sorry, Steve. I must have dropped off. What, what is he doing here? Sorry, Giley, and I should have said, Ryan's going to be doing a few shifts for us. Working? He's fast asleep. He has drooled on my post-it. Ryan, go and valet the cars or something. Eileen will show you where uh, this stuff is. No, no, she won't. My shift doesn't start till three. Your animal, you train him. <sighs> right, that's the cars done. Good luck, good job. Mm, haven't seen him yet. Just ditch your stuff out there, I'll sort it out later. Okay. I know what this is. What? This is your cack handed way of washing up Michelle so that you can get a leg over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. Hey, yeah, you all right, Steve? Oh, it just went down the wrong way. <laughs> mm. uh, just thought I'd pop in and see how Ryan was getting on. Oh, do you know, just the sight of him with that vacuum cleaner in his hand really makes my day. You do know how to use one of them, do you? Mum, please stop. My sides are splitting. <laughs> oh, well, you'll love this one, then, laughing boy. Now you've finished eight, you can get yourself over to number 13. Finish that redecorating. What did your last slave die of? A good beating. Now go on, <laughs> shift. See you, Steve. Bye. Right. Yeah, yeah. Best get back. Thanks again, Steve. Dead grateful. Oh, he knows. <laughs> Don't you? Not a word, Eileen. Not a word. I don't think you were back till tea time. You've been laid on that couch all morning, you lazy article. No, cos I only got up half an hour ago. You're outrageous, you, you know. I didn't sleep well that half ago. Oh, Did you have a lot on your mind, didn't you? Hey? You're so lucky, you know, that Steve didn't fire you. I don't know what's got into you. I'm, I'm trying to watch telly here. You know, if there was anything wrong, you would tell me, wouldn't you? No matter what it was, big or small. Right. I'm talking for your benefit here, not because I like the sound of my own voice. Mum, I've been kicked out of uni, I'm in debt up to my neck, and I've just started working at the cab office. 
What else is there to say? Right. I know what'll cheer you up. I don't need cheering up. I'm, I'm good. How about I go and get us some chips for lunch? I'm not hungry. Won't be able to resist them once you smell them. <clears throat> See you in a bit. Some of them shampoo samples from the salon. They work just as well. Stoss amigos, how's it going? How are you, Ryan? All right, mate. What are you up to, lining your stomachs before you head out on a mad one? My wish. No, I think it's a quiet one tonight. She's after having a bath. It's an annual event. <laughs> there are other places I could buy my magazines, you know. I'm well, not working tonight, so we're going to sink a few if you fancy it. Can't be Billy No, mate. It's kind of drinking on my own. Bad for reputation. <sighs> you know, sometimes I feel like Doc in West Side Story, running the milk bar, you know, where all the local hoodlums hang out. Don't ask me. Never read a book in my life. <laughs> and she says that so proudly. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine uh, you've uh, read a tome or two at university, young man. Tell me about it. Tome City. What's Tom when it's at home? <laughs> well, you worry your little head about that. I'm being funny. Yeah? £2.50, please. Oh, and you too. Don't think I've forgotten about that uh, debacle in the cab office yesterday. Do you know, Norris, I'm very impressed with your vocabulary. Tome, debacle, where will you go next? There's nothing wrong with being articulate. Yeah, well, I fancy getting incoherent. Do you fancy a few bevies later than what? Nah, mate, you heard. We're having a quiet one. I mean, Max won't look after himself, will he? Um, £1.60. I'll be in the beast room if you change your mind, you boring middle-aged couple. The cheek of it. That's how I roll, baby. What? Well, we could, though. And he does owe me 20 quid. Gail, she's one top bird. And she's a snappy dresser, I'll give her that. She knows how to pull off a pearl on it. <laughs> Where are you going? Going through her, what's it? You must have a bladder the size of a pin. Oh, once I've broken the seal, you know how it is. You've been gone ages. That was not a wee. All right, keep your voice down. <laughs> Do you want some? Want some what? Some of this. Is that cork? I said keep your voice down. What do you want some of that? Come on, I'll be a laugh. You know you want to. Believe me, if I wanted to, I would. It's cool. I did it all the time at uni. Am I supposed to be impressed? Well, you are, aren't you? What about you? I've had spots that were more impressive. Look, if you're scared... Oh, do me a favour. You are not talking to any little college girls now, you so know. So what's the problem? I don't have a problem. It's a bit of fun, remember that. I mean, if you've got to sit at home playing Happy Families with Dreary Dave and the don't kid... Don't you I'm... ever talk about my family like that again, do you hear me? My family? <laughs> you sound like a middle-aged mum. David's worth ten of you. Compared to him, you're zero. But you're bored, which is why you're out with me and not I'm out with here him. I'm because of how hard it is to fit in. Well, now I know why you've been having so much trouble. Uh, calm me down, Kylie. I'll take it outside. You're hurt, him. You need to chill. No, oh, David, right about you. You're a deadbeat. Not only that, you're a deadbeat who thinks he's the man. Get out of my way. Grow up, will you? I just let your body move to the music. Hey, hey. Thought you were right. Singing's not that bad, is it? No, not you singing. We need to have a little chat. Why? Why? What's he done? Oh, where do you want me to start? Oh yeah, how about him snorting coke in the Rovers? You <laughs> what? I think you're the one that's on summit. Well, if I was, I'd probably be one of his customers. One, I not stood here talking to you. All <laughs> oh, right, so he's a pusher now as well, is he? Well, he was trying to get Kelly on the stuff, so yeah, I guess that's what he is. <laughs> oh, cos she'd really need her arm twisting, wouldn't she? Is that where this is coming Look, from? Look, you can shift the blame all you like. The fact is, your son's a druggie, and if you were any sort of a mother... You you'd, what? ..you'd be out there trying to sort him. So the stood here shouting the odds about Kylie. Cos I'm telling you this, right? If he comes near me and her again, I'll kill him. I think you've got nothing. <laughs> all right. Have you seen Ryan? Yeah, more's the pity. He's sat. Oh. What's up? I need a word. Is he in trouble or something? You know what? Thinking about it, I haven't seen him since he went to the loo. Have you? I'll go and check. No, I'll go. What's going on? Michelle? Michelle, you can't go. Oh, she's coming in. Get up now and get out of there! Calm down, I'm going! No, Ryan, 
know so help me God it will come over there. Ryan, do as your mother says. Open the door. I'm warning you. Right, Steve, break it down. What the door? Steve! Ryan! <laughs> I don't know why you're getting all moody. It's all cool. Get out! Get out! Michelle, don't, don't go in. What? Taking drugs in some back street bog is most definitely not cool, you idiot. Drugs? And you do something. Oh, shut it, you old. Oi, what's your mouth? Where did you get it from? Get what? Don't push me, Ryan. I have let you get away with murder since the day you got back, and it stops here. Do you understand me? There's nothing to stop. Stop lying to me! I've just seen you in there with lines of. Cocaine? What the hell are you thinking about? Okay, I do a bit of coke. So what? Who wouldn't take something to take the edge off living in a dump like this? Right, I want him out of here now. Don't worry, I'm gone. Oi. Get your hands off oh, me. Then stop being a moron and give your mum some respect. What? For, for trying to control me? I'm trying to save you. Well, I don't want to be saved, so just put out. All right. What are you doing? You won't listen to me. Michelle, you need to think about this. Police, please. Oh, that's all we need. You're getting the cops on me. Whatever it takes. Yeah, it's my son. I've just found him taking drugs. Cocaine. Michelle Connor. Yeah. Thanks for seeing me. I just wanted to know what was happening. Your son's admitted taking cocaine, knowing it to be a Class A drug. Right. He won't tell us where he got it, but he insists it's a one-off. Well, yeah, I'm sure that it is. So what happens now? He's not been in trouble previously. No history of drug use that we're aware of. You noticed anything that might suggest he's got a habit? No, no, of course not. That's why this came as such a surprise. This open night in the cells has given him a surprise of his own. He's just going to be given a caution. And that's it? This time. <sighs> well, I hope you've learnt your lesson. And what drugs do to people, Ryan. Do you think you want that for you? She's right. Dangerous, expensive, the bad all round. Where did you get that stuff from, anyway? Don't move! <phone rings> Rob, I'll be with you in a minute, all right? Bye. It was Kylie, wasn't it? You might be a grass. I'm not OK. I will not tell the police. I just want to know where you got it. Yeah, OK. It was Kylie. Happy now? Leave him. to attract our attention, excuse me. I think do. me and you need to have a little chat, love. Do we? We can do it here or around some dark corner where your sort normally operates. What are you on about? Oh, not the butter wouldn't melt at, please. Should have been you locked up last night giving my son cocaine. What? Or did you sell it to him? No. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, get real, Gail. Your son might have dragged her out the gutter, but she's still a bad Do you want to explain why you've still got all your teeth? Ooh, classy. He told me he got that cocaine from you. Yeah, well, he's a flimmin' liar. Now there's a mother with a child like oh, you. Oh, yes. She doesn't do drugs. mother. Leaving your David looking after her kid while she's on the razz with some other bloke. Right, when you finish gobbing off, how did you know Ryan was shoving rubbish up his nose? Because David told you? Yeah, probably jealous of Ryan. Although why I don't want to bother about the likes of you is beyond me. No, David thought you should know because your precious son tried to get me to do cocaine with him. Wait, no! Right. Start on her and you take me on her. Why, why me? Steady on, ladies. You call me a bad mother, Michelle. You want to try looking in the mirror? You didn't know your son had dropped out of uni. You didn't know he was a druggie. Now, which one of us do you think's lying? Get lost. Thought you'd gone to work. I wanted to talk to you. I just had a run-in with Kylie. Why? What'd you say? Stuff that got me thinking. Since you got back, Ryan, you've nearly burned down an house, you've pulled that stunt at the factory, and now you're doing drugs in my local. The fire was an accident. I'm sorry about the factory. I hated that job, and, yeah, it was dead stupid. Last night, I was down and I had this coke. Yeah, well, all the lying about it wasn't an accident, though, was it? Nor were the drugs. I mean, is it just cocaine you're doing, or is it other stuff as well? I'm not even doing cocaine, not really. I had it from uni, and I was trying to show off, I suppose, to Kylie. Hang on a minute. You told me Kylie gave you that. It's what you wanted to hear. I don't believe this. I've just nearly had a stand-up fight in the street with Kylie and Gail because of what you told me. Oh, Mum, I, I didn't mean to. Well, what did you expect? My son's in trouble, and I see the person I think's responsible. There's no drugs in there. What are you doing? 
Making sure you can't get any more. Mom, stop it! There's, there's no need for that. I don't want you tempted. I'm not only looking after. <laughs> really? Could have fooled me. But then that's exactly what you've been doing, isn't it? It's a one-off, I promise. Yeah, and why should I believe you this time? Because I don't want to take the risk of ever seeing the inside of a police station again. You ever had a strip search? Nope. Think yourself lucky? No, I believe I'm lucky if we've stopped this. We have. Right, OK. And no more lies. No more stunts, none of that nonsense, right? Because the next time, Ryan, you're out. And I mean it, I'll wash my hands of you, do you understand me? Fair enough. Would you really have taken Michelle? Oh, hi, Michelle. Yes, OK, I haven't come for round two. Never crossed my mind. <clears throat> I just wanted to apologise for earlier. You of all people should know what it's like, Gail, when your son's public enemy number one. Talk about a half-hearted apology. Sorry with one hand, snidey dig with the other. Yes, I wanted to believe my son, right? I shouldn't have. I was wrong. Yeah. Well, just keep the lying, druggy waster out of my life and everybody will be happy, yeah? Okay. <sighs> what are you doing today, then? Whatever you want me to. I want you to lead a normal life. And how easy will that be now everyone's pegged me as untouchable? Well, you're gonna have to face them, aren't you? The odd apology might not be a bad idea. Have you thought about that? No. Sorry. Not to me. Although you will have to if I ever, ever catch you buying drugs again. I can't. Somebody's cut up all my cards. Yes, and I'll be uh, cutting them up again if you get new ones. I like the scissors. Ryan. I work in a knicker factory with hundreds of scissors. And anyway, what I want to hear from you is that you won't be taking drugs again, even if you can afford them. Even if someone's given them you for free. And I've said. Yeah, and you've said before, but it's never meant anything, has it? Does this time. Does it? Or are you just thinking, when are you going to show up, Mum? Yeah, I was wondering. Ryan. Because you don't need to keep saying it, I don't want to end up in prison. Even worse. I don't want to keep upsetting you. Yes, Michelle. Name's Michelle. Oh. Three bags full, Michelle. Oi! He's got something to say to you. Can I keep the job, even though I got busted? I can think of better ways to say it, Rye. Sorry I got busted. Can I keep the job, please? He's promised there won't be any more drugs, haven't you? Yeah. And I'd be really grateful, cos at least then I'd know where he was and what he was up to. Ah, oh, go on then. You do realise this will be your last chance, then. I'd be really dumb if I didn't. The amount of people who've told me. Yeah, I think he does. No, well, they won't be on the switch, not today. See these two cars? I want them gleaming. Spotless, OK? Car cleaning. Yeah, yeah and just be thankful that Steve's letting you do that. <laughs> yeah, OK, don't worry, boss. You'll be able to eat your dinner often. No, right, well, go on then. You know where the stuff is. <laughs> I'm hoping it's been a phase. All right, like we've all been through. But you do know, don't you, that I am... Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry, it's all part of the service. Thanks. Never thought I'd say it, but good old Gail. Yeah, well, I think that little stint in jail did her good. Mm. That cow Michelle accuses me of being a dealer and she stands up for me. Yeah, but well, it's cos you've been brilliant, aren't you? Like, the way that you've got on with her and everything. I mean, let's face it, in the beginning, you know as well as I do. She hated me. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, not you. Listen, we don't want to hear it. Don't blame you, only I just want to say I'm really, really sorry about what happened, you taking the rap. Yeah, and whose fault's that? Mine, I know, but honest, I never meant it to happen. Well, it didn't look like you were bothered. Happy to let her carry the can and then you just stood by and watched. So now I'm doing community service, paying my debt to society. Listen, just leave us alone, will you? Look, David, it's all right. No, it's not, so get away. Hey, yeah, whoa, 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 what's going on? Hey, just has gone crazy. And tell him to keep away from my wife. Well, all right, all right, come on, come on, you got work to go I just to. came across to apologise. Yeah, well, you needn't are bothered. No, I have to do this, then I'll go. It's cool. I'm sorry, really sorry. I shouldn't have got you involved. And like he says, I should have stopped my mum sooner. Well, I've had worse things happen. Yeah, and you will in a minute if you don't get him away all from right, me. All right, all right. Right, come on, let's go to work, come on. See you around. Yeah, bye. One latte. Hey. Ah, cheers, mate. Good man. Listen, um, why don't you... Why don't you get off, because, um... I've not got anything else for you to do. Can I just say... Go on. It's a shame you and Mum didn't stay together, cos even now you got on so well. We did... well, we did. 
had a bit of a problem today. What that I've caused? No, that I have. No, I mean, your mum were terrific. Just, I took my eye off the ball and met somebody else. Becky. Guy, you know how that turned out. If I could turn back the clock, I would, but I can't. Now, what you should do is make a study of my life. Everything, do the complete opposite. <laughs> Why do that? I would have uh, a question. Mm. Daring me out here. Can you advance me, say, 20 quid on my wages? I've already upset your mum once today. I don't want to do it again. Worth a try. Mm. See you tomorrow. Yep. So, did you miss Glasgow, then? Yeah, kind of. What do you miss? The girls. We do have girls down here, you know. All right, then. The girls and the room in a shared house. Oh, you were being careful. Let's start all that again. What else do you miss, then? What happened to that band you were telling me about? I fell apart. Why? The lead singer was an egomaniac. He wanted everything done his way, and he couldn't decide what we should be called. We had a new name every week. In the end, we got sick of him. I'm joking. Who was the lead singer? Me. Ryan. We only played two gigs. Well, you told me about the one at the student union. The second was a wedding in Paisley. The old kind. I suppose. I haven't even seen you play guitar since you got back. I felt like it, really. Hello. Hiya. Boss. What's all that about, smiling at you? Got to get back. See you later. Thanks for breakfast. It was lunch. Mwah. Oh, What was your mum saying? She was asking why I hadn't picked up a guitar since coming home. Carol, why? No reason. You should bring it in the office, you know, entertain us all. For a slightly bigger crowd, no offence. Carried away. Hello, boys. Ciao. Robert. Stephen, Lloyd. Good afternoon in the Rovers. Stand as a slipping, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Touche. Shandy, Rob. Uh, let me get him. Uh, lager shandy and a white wine soda, please. And uh, whatever the girls are having. I'm all right. I'm working. <clears throat> oh, Michelle, I was um, talking to a mate of mine this afternoon, Nelson. Runs that bar in town. Oh. Yeah, is that the one where they do Magic Mondays? Magic Mondays, right. Anyway, he was saying he's got a slot free tonight if Ryan would be interested. You're joking? Ryan was only saying this morning how much he misses performing. I'll give you um, his details if you want. Lloyd, you are a superstar. Oh, hold that thought. <laughs> Two minutes, Rob. What's the worst that can happen? I'm rubbish and everybody laughs at me. Exactly. Sun will still come up tomorrow. I'm not sure I'm ready for it. A few numbers in a pub, Bry. It's not live aid. It's such short notice. Right, well, that's a good thing. If you'd had weeks to prepare, it'd drive you mad. You're a talented lad. Doubt very much you're going to want to spend the rest of your life on a switchboard. You'll end up like Steve. I like Steve. And you might meet some interesting people. People from record labels, that kind of thing. I know when I was singing, these places were full of all sorts of blokes. I bet they were. Oh, yeah, I'm serious. It's character building, if nothing else. And I'll come. Cheer you on. <sighs> all right, what the hell? Yeah? Good for you. But if I make a total fool of myself... Blame Lloyd. Thanks, Mum. Nothing to do with me. Right, I'm gonna have a rifle through my wardrobe, see if I've got anything suitable. I've got my own clothes. For me? You're not that nervous, are you? No, I've got a gig tonight. I need it now. All right, mate, yeah, yeah. See you later. Bye. Who's that? Just a mate. There's a gang coming to see me play. Oh, that's nice. Friendly faces in the crowd. What do you think of that? Too grungy? Uh, great. We're meeting for a drink first, we'll best get changed. All oh, right. I'm guessing that means you'd rather I didn't tag along then. Kind of brings down the rock star vibe, having your mum in the entourage. Well, you know, a lot of rock star parents would be offended by that. You're just lucky that I'm cool. You don't mind me coming to the gig, though, do you? Oh, of course not. OK, well, I promise to stand at the back and not acknowledge you at all until we're at least 200 metres from the building. You are one cool rock and roll mama. I try.
20 quid. That's all you've got? Yeah. I don't usually do house calls. Don't mess me about, have you got some or not? Got some good stuff for the weekend. Fairly pocket money. You do Mr. Treat tonight? Really? Yes, my hugely talented son played at Nelson's. Oh. I know I'm biased, but honestly, when he started, it was all like noise, you know, mm. talking, drinking, yeah. all that. By the time he finished, you could hear a pin drop. Oh. Oh, so they didn't like it then? Uh, loudest applause tonight, thank you, Tommy. Did I introduce my agent? But yeah, and he got offered to join three different bands as well. I am telling you, I saw something special tonight. Oh, well done. Um, bottle lager, a white wine, and whatever you two are having, please. Cheers. Put, put that away, I'll get these. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, and he got paid 25 quid. That's all right, isn't it? Mm. Um, have you seen Lloyd at all? Uh, yeah, he's at the back. I'll What's that smell? Breakfast. Chicken tikka. That's just gross. Call yourself a student. Not no. anymore, no, and that's one of the reasons why. I make a brilliant student, me. Not academically, but you know everything else. Right up my straws, I think you've left it a bit late. I've never heard of mature students. You mature? Overripe, maybe. So we here this morning to ask. I'm too late, Spill. I got a call last night. A guy wants us to do another gig. Some social club in Drollsden. How is that not a good thing? A Oasis had to work the way up to Nebworth. The venue's fine. It's my amp. It's blown. Be at least hundred quid to fix it. I can't do the gig without it. Mm. So I'll have to turn it down. Unless what? Is there any chance of another advance in my wages? Leave it with me. I reckon I can sort something out. I, I, I'm good for the money. Or I, I will be by tonight. Why, why would I mess you about? I need you more than you need me. Oh, great. See, see you later. Do I peel this? Get the door for me, will you? What's that? What does it look like? It's an amplifier. And a lot more besides. Not just a solution to your problems, but the symbol of a young boy's dream. You are. You're not the only one with musical ambitions. When I was 13, me and my mates were going to be the next Tipow. Or Tup Pow, as my mum insisted on calling him. Right, so it's well old then. I'm not sure it'll be compatible with my gear. Don't worry, it might not go up to 11, but it's got all the standard jacks. Well, cheers, I appreciate you lending it us. It's all right, you can have it. I think I missed the boat, fame-wise. Just do us a favour, don't let me show no me. Whatever. Good lad. What are you doing here? Need a cab? Liar. I'm serious. Got a couple of packages to drop. One in you, one in Ancoats. Murder on the bus. There's no way you're using our cabs to deliver drugs. You can't just turn up here. I was hoping you'd give me a discount. Come on, the driver won't know. Get out. It's exceptionally good gear. I could let you have a bit. Call it commission. No thanks. You hesitated. Are you mad? What? Can't leave your house. When you got a delivery coming, you'll end up with one of them things on your mat. Can I stop you right there? They've already been. <gasps> Not delivered it on time. Yep. I am now the proud owner of a brand new sofa. Ooh. Not quite sure it's in the right place yet, though. In fact, I'm looking for a nice, strong man to help me move it. None about, though, so what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm skint. You can pay me when you've got the dosh. If anyone even sees me talking to you, you can't talk to a mate. No one who deals drugs, no. No, no, go. Did you just say drugs? He's just leaving. Are you selling my son drugs in broad daylight? Get out now before I call the police. I'll be back. No, you flipping won't. Get out and stay away from my business. I don't believe you. After everything I've done for you and you promised me you'd quit! Well, you got it wrong. I didn't buy anything. Well, you would have if me and Steve hadn't walked in. No, I was telling him to leave. I, I didn't know he was going to turn up. Oh, my liar. <sighs> I 
flown it. She'll never believe another word I say. Well, what a very clever move inviting your deal around. And I meant what I said. This is my place of business. I'd already sent him packing. Who was he anyway? He's just a, a, an idiot I met in a club. Well, what was he doing here? It's a bit risky, isn't it? Because you know he was a work here and he thought I wanted to score. All oh, right, so you didn't call him up then? No, he's just someone I met. You know he was a dealer? No. So he wasn't here thinking he could make some easy cash? Steve. I'm just checking. You know you can be straight with me. I am being. I might as well save my breath, though, seeing as neither of you believe a word I say. It's not just the drugs you've got to worry about, it's the people that come with them. I don't do drugs. Good! You know, your mum only went off on one because she's worried about you. I don't know. Well, I'll talk to her if you like, see if I can smooth things over. Will you? Are you swear to me you're not doing drugs? I swear. Oh, I don't think he's lying. It's Steve. We caught him red-handed. Yeah, but this Nile guy just turned up out of the blue. That's what Ryan says, and I believe him. But how's he even know him? Met in a club, apparently. No, oh, he's just chanting his arm. Pushing. Listen, when I caught him doing coke in the Rovers, he swore to me that it was a one-off, that it was some stuff he'd got from uni. Now he's hanging round with people like that. This problem's worse than I thought. Nah. Steve, he knows a dealer. Yeah, we didn't hear everything they said. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Ryan was saying no. Oh. These dealers prey on lads like Ryan. <sighs> he's not stupid, though. He's got his head screwed on. He knows he's been an idiot and he's, he's, he's trying to straighten himself out. I hope you're right. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm just so worried about him. Listen, come on. <sighs> if you are right and he is on a slippery slope, then... We have to help him. We? Yeah, me for both of you. But what about Tracy? Well, I don't have to be at the hospital yet. Anyway, this is important. I can't leave you like this. Why don't you get a cappuccino machine? They're cheap enough. Well, it's not a matter of expense. More a cultural issue. You are? Well, if there was a piazza or a Duomo out there, I might consider serving the appropriate beverage. But when I opened up this morning, it was still a terrace in northern England. All right, all right. Uh, if we wanted a lecture, I'd have stayed at uni. Just get us a coffee. I know how you feel, mate. I need to fix myself this morning. <laughs> Caffeine! Not the... Sorry. It's all right. So, uh, what are you doing with yourself for the rest of the day? What do you think? I've got no money to go anywhere. No one to go with, even if I had. Well, I might have the answer to all your prayers. Yeah. Mm, yes, I got me and your mother some tickets for a gig tonight. Anyway, she doesn't fancy it, so I thought it'd be a good chance for me and you to hang out. Hang out? No, you know, shoot the breeze, put the worlds to rights. Over a beer or three, my shout. Yeah, cool. 90 pence, please. Ciao. Grazie. Oh! <gasps> you all right? Does it look like it, you flaming idiot? <sighs> Hold on, he was in action. You should watch where you're going. Ryan! Look at the state of me. This suit cost me 350 quid. Real? Oh. You were done, mate. Oh, well, oh. I'm so sorry. Send us the bill for the dry cleaning. Never mind that. What am I going to do? Look at my presentation. All right, love. You can manage. Oh, leave it. It's ruined. Oh, so much for making a big impression. Oh, come on. You could tip up in a bin. He's got crumbs on the keyboard. Uh, never mind that. Mm. Uh, listen, um, this gig later, I can't go, something's come up. Uh, oh, right. That, that's a shame. I was, I was quite looking forward to it. Well, I'm sorry, mate. It's, it's, it's fine, it's no biggie. Well, you know, you should have the tickets anyway, cos, uh, you know, you can find someone to go with you. Cheers. Hi, Soph. It's Ryan. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool, thanks. Look, uh, are you busy tonight? I was gonna go to a gig with Steve later. Don't laugh, it's true. Anyway, he can't make it and I've got things to do, so he's asked me to try and sell the tickets for him. Would you be interested? Oh, brilliant. Six bum, six bum, I'm a six bum. Hippie cheap. Uh, two or three minutes for your eggshell. Ryan's bed hasn't been slept in. Mm. Not to be young, eh? 
Not that I don't prefer being this age and having sleepovers at yours. Something might have happened to him. Nothing's happened to him. He's been to a gig, he's had too much to drink, that's all. Yeah, or whatever. We've probably gone straight to streetcars. <sighs> yeah. I know I worry. Oh, yeah, look, same as any mum. <sighs> it's only because I love him. I know, of course you do, and you want to protect him. It's natural. It's with it just being me and him, it's... It makes it so much harder, you know? It's not just you and him there anymore, though, is it? Because you both got me. Hmm. You're a good man, Steve. Hmm. Well, the day is young. Hmm. Mm. Cheers, Eileen. Straight to answer phone. Well, as soon as Eileen gets here, I'll help you look for him. I mean, where else could you... Where the hell have you been? All right. Never mind all right. You were supposed to start work half an hour ago. Yeah, I know. So why didn't you come home? Mum, I'm not a kid. And look at the state of you. Honestly, I, I, do you know what? I don't know where you got the money from to go out drinking. That was the gig. Yeah, good. You know, you could have just left me a message on my mobile, you know, just let me know what you were doing afterwards. No battery. You worry too much. Okay, maybe. Anyway, I am glad you enjoyed yourself, but uh, next time, charge your phone. I'm going to work. See you later. And you get a drink of water down you. I have just been shouting you down the street. I just wanted to say cheers for selling them tickets. The gig was amazing. Um, was this the gig last night? Yeah, it was really good. And it was going mental. And and I'm going to have to go and get Jack, so I'll speak to you later. You lied. You sat there and you lied through your teeth. Hang on. I, I gave them tickets to you. No, you said we were going to go, me and you. Then you bailed on me. That's not the point. You sold them. Yeah. And we all know where that money went, don't we? It wasn't on drink, that's for sure. It was drugs. And don't bother trying to deny it. No point, because you know everything. Your mum is just trying to help you. I'm big enough to take care of myself without any help from you two. That's just it, though, isn't it? You're not. You're too stupid to see what you're doing to yourself. You know, if I wasn't stood behind you, God knows where you'd be. In the gutter, probably. You've not got an ounce of willpower in your body, have you? Look at the state of you, you're a mess. Hey, where are you going? Away from here. Ah, uh, excuse me. I hate to remind you, but here is where you work. I'll be in tomorrow. No, you won't. You can't just come and go as you please. I need someone I can rely on. There'll be kids biting my hand off to have this job. You're fired, Ryan. I know. The minute I open my gob, I know. Forget it, don't matter. Why didn't you warn me or something? I mean, the look on your mum's face, you told me that Steve had told you to sell them tickets. Were they really fed up with you? They're always fed up with me. Hmm. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, you're not exactly made it easy for him, have you, with the whole drugs thing and that? That's what you wanted the money for, wasn't it? <sighs> don't you start. I thought you'd learnt your lesson, Ryan. I don't know why everybody makes such a big deal about it. I do a bit of coke. It's not like I'm hooked her out. No. But do you think everybody that just does a bit of coke thinks they're going to end up a junker? I've seen it at the refuge. I've seen people that have lost everything because of drugs. Yeah, well, that's not going to be me. Trying to get the coffee stains out of my suit. What suit? You look cool, man. Get her off your bonds again. Oh, no lectures, mate. I'm fine. No, what you are is a waste of space. Keep on my way, all right? I could kill him. I mean, not a word. Yeah, just try and stay calm. Oh, how can I stay calm, Steve? He's ruining his life and doesn't care. Remember, welfare, not warfare. Been reading some stuff. Where have you been? About? What are you talking to? Sat here waiting for you to come home. <laughs> oh, right. So what are you going to do now? Do I have to eat? 
You're right. He's I. Where is it? Get off! Where is it? Get off! Give it! Give it here! Get off! I am not going to stand here and watch you disappear in front of me. What are you doing? Stop! Whoa, 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 hey, 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 back off! Calm down! Everybody calm down! Do you know what that cost me? I don't know. And I don't care! <sighs> you sold your guitar. But you didn't care. You'd really give up something you love for drugs! Every time! <sighs> what happened to you? Eh? Don't you walk out of here! Shouldn't you be at work? To Sunday. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna see Mr. Love and Man today. Actually, I thought I might spend the day at home. You mean so you can keep an eye on me? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm not hungry. You need to eat. Why are you making me breakfast? You should be chucking me out. Yes, you're right, I should be. But call me a mug or what'll help you. You're a mug? You do want to stop, don't you? Yeah. Right, so then let me help you. How? I'm not seeing some counsellor. We could start by spending more time together. <sighs> Doing wholesome family things. No, just hanging out. <sighs> OK, Mom. There's no milk, shall I go get some? No. For God's sake! You go then. No, it's OK. I'll ring Steve, get him to bring some over. Milk man, at your service. Thank you. If this was a carry-on film, you would be wearing a see-through nighty and you'd invite me upstairs. Sorry, I'm on Ryan watch. Not mad at me for sacking him, are you? God, no, he did what you had to do. I was hoping it might give him a bit of a jolt. Has it? Well, he says he wants to get clean. To believe him? I think so. I want to. Well, then you got to start trusting him, then. You can't keep him under house arrest all the time. Yeah, I know, but if I can just keep an eye on him for a bit, you know, maybe I can get through to him, push the right buttons. Well, uh, I'll come over later. Keep you company. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Steve, um, I need to ask a favour. No. You don't know what I'm going to ask yet. Still no. I need you to look after Amy this afternoon because I've got a job interview. Really? Yes. At a bar in town. So if you don't mind having your only daughter for a couple of hours, I'd be grateful. Well, yes. Yeah, of course I will. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Well, I'm sure to get it. Yeah. As long as you're the only actor. Fancy a game or something? I'm watching this. You know you're into cooking. I tell you what, why don't we make some it? Invite Steve around for tea, impress him. No, thanks. <clears throat> Hello. Get to the bistro in ten minutes. Why? I'm meeting Sid Outry about a new order. He wants you there. What, today? You know what big Sid's like. No rest for the working man and all that. Look, we need to humour him. <sighs> Can't you handle it? He specifically asked for you. And since your son cost us the chase order on Monday, you owe me. Not this again. I'll see you in ten minutes. <sighs> if you've got to go out, go. I can survive on my own for a bit. Well, <clears throat> why don't you come with me? It's only a meeting at the bistro. I sit around like an idiot. Look, I'm not going to rush off and score. I've got no money for a start, thanks to your boyfriend. I promise. All right, well, <clears throat> I'll be as quick as I can, OK? All right.
sorry it took so long, honestly. This client. Ryan? Ryan? Need to pop back to the office for half an hour. A couple of calls to make. Oh, I'll work and no play makes Rob a very dull boy. And a poor one who can't buy his girlfriend lovely presents. Oh, okay. <laughs> Meet you in the rovers in half an hour. Tops. Cheers, mate. Tap. Don't worry, we'll find him. I don't even know where to start. Well, if he's got no money, he'll be looking for some, so why don't we check the pawn shop in the precinct? What else has he got left to sell apart from his guitar? Left any jewellery in the flat? <sighs> Where do you think you're going? I need you to come and look after Amy. Oh, look, Trey, I'm sorry. This is really important. So is my job interview. Yeah, I mean, look, can you not ask somebody else, like your mum? Or... No, because Mum's gone to stay with Bev. Dad? He's at the library and he's booked the microfish machine, so he's not going to leave. Well, look, I'm really sorry, but this is an emergency. What is? I can't tell you, but look, trust me, I wouldn't leave you in the lurch unless it was. Underworld, Coronation Street. OK, cheers. Come on, Ryan, don't do this to me. Michelle? It's Rob. Hi, this is Ryan. He's been assaulted. Head injury, GCS3, blood pressure. Oh, my God, Ryan! There was an intruder in the factory. I, I didn't know it was Ryan, I swear. You've done to him! He had his hood up. He was going through the pay cash, so I walloped him. Oh, what were you I thinking? Well, oh, someone had broken into my property. Ryan? I have the right to use Ryan? reasonable force. Rubbish! Well, let's Ryan, ask the police, shall we? No, 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 I don't call Ryan? the police. Why not? Because he's just a kid. He's a thieving cokehead who was trying to rob me. Thank you, nurse. Hold on my finger. Any double vision? No. Is it going to be OK? One of my team will assess the wound and dress it for you. Have the police been called? No, 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 no. We don't want to get the police involved, do we? I'd like you to call them. I want to report an assault. What? You were stealing from me. I came in to see my mum. You just attacked me. GBH, I think it's called. Surely you don't believe him. Why shouldn't I? He was Jemmy and opened the cash box. So you say. Oh, come on, Michelle. Do you really believe I just attacked him? Well, it's not like you haven't got motive, is it? <sighs> You've been fuming with him since Monday. You've spent half the day telling me how he lost us that client. This is ridiculous. Are you denying it? No, but, but I didn't know it was him, I swear. He's lying to save his skin. Well, Steve, back me up here. It won't be the first time. Look, I'm sorry. I just can't believe that Ryan would lie about something so important. He's got a drug problem. <sighs> He's desperate for money. You know how desperate he is. Even so. Take off the rose-tinted specs. Your son's not Harry Potter. He's Pete Doherty. Excuse me, Mr Donovan. We'd like to talk to you. Whatever he said, it isn't true. If you could come down to the station, please. This is because I've got form, isn't it? You can't charge me. There's no evidence. No one's charging anyone with anything at the moment. We'd just like to talk to you. If 
I'm done for GBH, my probation will get revoked and I'll get sent straight back to prison. Do you want that on your conscience? Do you? Yeah. I know, I know. I just... I just can't believe that Ryan would sink this low. I can't. Right, I'll set the kettle on. Don't suppose you've got anything stronger? No, the doctor said you're not allowed alcohol. Right, come on, give us that hoodie. I'll stick it in the wash. No, it's, it's cold. That's all right, I'll get you a... These are my factory keys. Yeah, that's, that's why I was there. I was bringing them to you. And you opened my cash tin. You were out to school. I wanted to buy you some chocolates to say sorry. Blame me now. This is what I get for trying to be nice. Tell me the truth. Were you robbing the factory? No. Look me in the eye and tell me that. No. I don't believe you. What? Oh, come on, Ryan. Give up. It's over. Why don't you keep your pathetic nose out of it? Hey! He is pathetic. But then you've always gone for blokes like that. Sad losers who you think you can wind round your little finger till they end up dumping you for someone younger and prettier. Oi! Don't talk to her like that. Such a nerve, have I? It's fine. Go on, turn your back on me. Why break the habit of a lifetime? That's not fair. All this guff about spending time together helping me out. You don't want me around. You never have. All I do is get in the way of you and your newest bloke. That's all you think about. I'm surprised you haven't got a red light outside the front door. You've been itching to do that, haven't you? Don't ever talk to your mum like that again. <laughs> Some mother. If you've come to sing me goodbye to you, don't bother. I forgot something. I don't play the guitar anymore. It's yours. I said I don't play anymore. I said it's yours. Open it. It is mine. Mm. We bought it back for you from the pawn shop. Your mum loves you very much, you know. What you said really hurt her. I know. Tell her I didn't mean it. Tell yourself. Look, all she wants is for you to let her help you. It's too late. Look, there's nothing you've done that we can't fix. That we can get you off the coat. We can send you to rehab. We send you to counselling. Whatever it takes. It's too late. Too much has happened. So that's it. You're just going to give up here. It's my life. Well, I'll tell you what. You can keep the guitar. Might be able to sell it for a couple of grams. thinking. What well, my mates did it. I took a line at parties. But it weren't about that for me. As soon as I got on that course, I lost my confidence. I couldn't play anymore. Why? I wasn't good enough. I shouldn't have been there. Of course you should. You auditioned. They offered you a place. Performing's about in here. Y you know that. I get my guitar out, you know, lessons, gigs, whatever. And I, I'd, I'd think I was going to mess up. So I did. I would coax, silenced that voice and, and made it yell, I, I, I rock, I, I, I can do this. It got so I couldn't play without it anymore. And of course I started using it for other things. Everything. I knew I was heading for a brick wall. But every time I tried to stop that, Fear, self-doubt came back twice as hard. I, I, 
I couldn't handle it. I don't think... I don't see the irony. I took coke so I could play him guitar. Ended up selling guitar to take coke. I'm such an idiot. I've thrown away everything. You're not, and you haven't. What have I got left? Got me. And me. Pathetic one in the corner. <laughs> I'm going to help you through this, all right? On one condition. What? That you're honest. Right? No more lies. I need to go talk to the police. All right, come up. Is there any more toast? I'll get it. Ryan, can you come out here, please? Do you want any more toast? No, toast. All right. Hiya. He is really sorry. Uh, the tea toast? I'm fine, thanks. Let's get this sorted. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure. That really cuts it in the circumstances. It's a start. Well, I am. I'm so far out of order, I mean it. Messed up big time, got myself in all sorts of bad stuff and I dumped it on you. Sorry. You tried to rob the factory and then accused me of assault. No excuses. This is a massive wake-up call. Quite literally. I'm not going back there, never. For what it's worth, I do believe him this time. Well, I hope you mean it, cos we're the victims here. I do mean it. I'm not going anywhere near drugs ever again. This is a new start for me. The way I see it, you got off lightly. I know. Thanks. Good. Right, I'll see you in an hour. And all the best. Don't put me down as a reference, eh? I'm such a loser. Hey, have some tea. I'm hungry. Oh, come on. What you just did was really brave. I'm proud of you. I messed up everything. Well, I wish I could offer you a job at Streetcar. So. You'll get another job. And you've got your music. Don't give up on your music. Everyone round here thinks I'm a druggy waste of space. I should move on. Move on where? I don't know, London. London? You won't like London. You don't have to go anywhere. Really? What have I got here? You've got me. And you've got Steve. Please don't go. Just give it some time, eh? I'm going back to bed. Kebabs. Oh, they've really come on. I believe there's a place in Oldham got a Michelin star. Do you really want a kebab? I love kebabs. I think you will too. I just thought, you know, me, you and Ryan, we could go out tonight for a proper dinner. I'd rather have a kebab. Well, I need to talk to Ryan anyway, so... Does he like kebabs? Well, yeah, I suppose. We'll, we'll get Ryan a kebab as well, then. It's like we're having kebabs, then. Dev said he was having stuffing problems. Shut up! Good evening! What can I get you? Oh! You! That hurt. <laughs> you lovely man. Mm -hmm. I hope you two are going to buy something. We don't have time wasters in here. Mm. Hiya. Are you keeping an eye on me? Yes, yeah, she has uh, CCTV hooked directly to her phone. She can see everything you're doing in here. So don't even think about spitting in the salad. Oh, you, you wouldn't do that. It's very clean. And I always make sure he washes his hands. What are you doing here? How many people are down there? Um, I think the clue might be in the uniform. You're working here? Yep. We're workmates. Well, you wanted me to get a job, and I have. Well, that's, uh, great. You're working here with my Ryan. <laughs> I think the penny is slowly dropping. Well, you better watch her. Oh. And don't have her letting you do all the work. Oh, no, no, he's the boss. I just do as I'm told. <laughs> what is your game? Oh, I'm just trying to earn a living. Well, I'm sure the food here is excellent, but we just popped in to say we're going into town for a meal. OK. Right, well, uh, we'll see you later. We won't be long. Bye, Ryan. Bye, Ryan. See ya. Um... How about we go to the Rovers for a drink? Don't know if that's a good idea. Hey, no strings. I just, um... Well, I want to get to know you. Why? Oh, sorry, um... 
Well, I just thought we were getting on, but if you'd rather not be seen with me, then... Hey, I'm the local druggie. Being seen with you is not going to lower my reputation. <laughs> really? Well, I have been public enemy number one round here for a very long time, so... Yeah, well, there's a new bad boy in town. Hey, perhaps we should start a club. What, a very exclusive club, two members only. Why don't we start at your place with a bottle of wine? At my place? Well, we know your parents are out. You are so bad. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my mum hates you so much. Well, technically, I am still married to a boyfriend, so... <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you're... You're funny. I'm funny? What, like a clown? No, you know what I mean. Um, I amuse you, make you laugh. You're just trying to wind me up. <laughs> Actually, I can't believe I'm here. I mean, look at us. We're like a pair of naughty teenagers. Just two co-workers having a drink after work. So tell me, how did you get mixed up with drugs? Oh, it's, a, it's a long story. Well, I'm not in a rush. Why are you so interested in me? Well, let's just say I'm an instinctive type of person. I see something I like and I just go for it. I ask questions later. You are weird. <laughs> well, I've been called worse. I'm not sure what kind of signals I'm getting here. Okay. Well, let me make myself perfectly clear. How was that? I don't know. Still kind of hazy, maybe. 